Hello there, we've got two old woods to look at today. I thought it'd be interesting to just uh, try and explain some of the ways we can identify uh, woods and date them and find out information about them uh, just by uh, studying the woods. These two look fairly similar at first glance. They're both uh, coated brown shafts. I think these are enamel paint on here. Um, they've both got a, a bit of whipping on there and it's like a wax linen whipping the earlier type before the nylon type of whipping came out one obvious difference is that this one has an insert in there black polymer insert and four screws whereas this one is a plain wood face initially you would expect that this one would be earlier because inserts tended to become more popular after the second world war but let's just uh, have a quick look at the obvious identifying features first. Whoa, I'm going to quickly jump in here because I've missed one of the most frequently asked questions about old woods. And that is, is my wood a persimmon wood? I did cover this briefly in the first video I ever made, but it won't do any harm to go over it again. So using the same pictures, here we go. If I look at these... Uh, other two examples I can explain some of the differences. On the top we've got a persimmon wood which is a single piece of wood from the persimmon tree and we can see on the top there growth rings. These can sometimes be seen on the crown if it's just a uh, stained or varnished crown and below that we've got a laminated wood which is made up of several layers of wood like plywood which are clamped and glued together and here we can see the rings of that wood where it's been sanded down uh, to create that circular aspect. And here we have a face view of the two clubs. On the top again is the persimmon wood and where it, the face hasn't been stained we can see the wood grain effect. And below that we have the laminated wood and again where the face hasn't been stained we can see the plywood effect with the different layers of wood. Both clubs have an insert which is there to protect the face. Uh, the top one has screws to hold it in place as well as glue, whereas the bottom one relies just on glue. From the end of the Victorian age up until about the start of the Second World War, almost all woods were made using persimmon. There had been some experimental work in the UK using laminated wood just before the Second World War and during the Second World War Wilson pioneered the strata block wood which was a laminated wood with waterproof impregnation. In the UK after the Second World War laminated woods became by far the commonest uh, type of wood. Right that about covers that so let's get back to the two woods that we were looking at. So if we begin with this one on the top we've got the crown mark and the name Gradage. It's a little bit battered this is, uh, where it's been thrown back into the bag um, a bit carelessly really, landed on other clubs and it's uh, got a few dents on there which is a shame. Uh, the, the shape of it is slightly pointed on the toe side which indicates that it's a, an older style uh, but otherwise it's a fairly typical uh, club. On the sole we have a nice brass sole plate, we can see a screw in there holding the shaft into place and we can see the number 3 and it says made in England. So Gradage obviously was uh, an English company and this club was made by them. The shaft itself, brown shaft, the length of the club on this one is 40 and a half inches. Uh, it looks like the original or an early leather grip on it if not the original. Uh, so 14 and a half inches a little bit on the short side and if we also take a look at the uh, the shaft label there we can see it says true temper pressed into the uh, enamel paint registered and made in England so that would have been made by Ackles and Pollock who held the true temper uh, right for Europe and it also says whippy which is the shaft flex so the fact that it's a whippy flex and it's only 40 and a half inches would suggest that this was a ladies club they'll often have an L stamped on the bottom this one doesn't but I'm pretty sure it is a ladies club and then we can look at the next one if we have a look at the sole plate again first there we are if we look at the sole plate on that one we can see that this is a number two wood it says deluxe and we've got a flag motif there which belonged to Robert Forgan in the Suns. This one is, uh, it's been restored, I, I restored this one. Uh, it was, um, the, the head was very uh, worn and dry, all the paint finish was coming off. 
so I took the sole plate off, removed the insert, uh, cleaned it all up and then reassembled it. It's got a new coat of paint as well, not the greatest finish, it's a little bit orange peely, um, but it's certainly playable. Re-whipped it with linen thread and we've got a short ferrule there again. The shaft on this one's not quite as good as on the gradage. We can see some of the enamel paint has peeled away there. I have painted that with a hammerite paint just to protect it. I'm not trying to uh, match the finish because this is quite a thick enamel paint. If we look down the club at the shaft band on this one, we can see that it's got, rather than something pressed into the paint finish, it has got an actual shaft band. It's very worn, but it says rocket there. So this is a true temper rocket shaft, which I think was on, on offer from about 1954 to the end of the 1950s. So that would date this club from mid to late 1950s. Uh, the grip is again looks pretty original a nice grip per collar there and the, the length on this one is 43 inches so that's a typical driver length from the time and this club would have been used by a lot of golfers the two wood was preferred by many golfers as it was it's slightly higher loft on the face so it was a little bit easier to get the ball into the air the average golfer who didn't have the, the club head speed or the skill to play the more straight faced one wood would find that the two wood was an excellent alternative. Same length of shaft so he got the same club head speed as he would have done with the one wood but that additional loft just helps him out a little bit. So that's the two woods. That sums up everything we can tell just by looking at them really. I hope that was of use to you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Thanks and bye.